Good morning, it's Wednesday the 6th of July. You're watching The Big Show with me, Steve Farragher. Big uh, hello to everyone who's watching. Uh, have some nice messages as well. People saying I look healthy and younger. And uh, we're all talking about the rejuvenative effects of uh, Arco soap on the face. Your skin does improve, there's no, there's no two ways about it. Whatever's in it. It's probably a, a byproduct of a, you know the Turkish sheep industry. Uh, it does actually do your face really good. So let's give it a good uh, lather up. A terrible storm all last night, bucketing down with rain, and uh, woke up and the streets are all still wet. And what we're doing today is we're shaving with the uh, Dead and Jagger, or the Mick Jagger, as some people like to call it. There's one thing you haven't done with me razors, which is, you know, something maybe you should do, is have names for them. Give them names. I have this theory that people who play instruments, musical instruments, which I don't, um, I always give the musical instruments a, a name, and maybe it's a female name as well. I know BB King's guitar used to be called Lucille, I think. Might be wrong about that. If I'm wrong, tell me. So, maybe. Maybe you should name the razors after all my ex-girlfriends, ex-wife. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? So, uh, it's the first one done. I'm trying to miss the nick here because all that's happening is every day I'm nicking myself and it's, it's opening up. <laughs> right, it's just the first pass, second pass. I tell you what, if you don't want to go and buy a maker, if you feel, you know, then I'm just talking waffle and, you know, having a decent razor is not going to make that much difference. What you should do is go out and buy one of these babies, this is the Edmund Jagger. It's got a lovely long handle, it's a lovely weight to it. Uh, it's not quite the make of but if you remember a few months ago when, when I first bought this, I was raving about this. This was the best thing since sliced bread. And then I found the maker and realised that was the best thing since sliced bread. So, there you go, second pass. Let's go for the third pass. So the question you need to ask yourself really, see if you can find anyone who's ever been taught how to shave. The next question is, who taught you how to shave? And the third question is, ask them to demonstrate it. You know, not, not for real, just, because uh, the guy who I found, who uh, had been in the army, the British army, the guy I was working with, I thought, asked him this question, he said, yeah, I've been taught how to shave. And he, he, he wasn't really, he hadn't been taught how to shave at all. He'd been, he'd been ordered to shave. He'd been ordered to drag a razor across his face every morning. Otherwise, he'd gonna get stuck in a military prison. So, uh, I thought, you know, although he, he, he was taught how to shave, his ex, I think his stepfather was all taught how to shave. I don't think he was taught how to shave properly. What made it worse, he had a beard, when I knew him. So, he's obviously, uh, he's rebelling against it. You see, if you get taught how to shave properly, like this, you've got to get your shave in the morning. You've got to do it three times, you've got to do it properly. And you've got to put the right finishing stuff at the end. You've got to put the Arco, the Arco Clown. This is very pleasant. Um, I'll just say a few words about everything else. Really, the job is uh, improved considerably yesterday. It's funny what difference the day makes. Um, Monday, nearly jacked in it. Yesterday, got a bit of closure on some things, and uh, that closure has sort of made me a bit, a bit more enthusiastic. So <coughs> we we'll get a chance over the weekend as well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wash this towel and then I'm gonna. Get it wet and microwave it and try a hot towel, see, see what difference that makes. Okay, so that's all the, uh, the fundamentals done. Three passes. Some Arco, Arco Cologne, rubbed in, rubbed thoroughly in. Uh, we're going to put a little bit of, uh, no we're not, we're going to put a little bit of Arco moisturising cream on. And once we've done that, 
I'll put the aftershave on here because it's drawn out. I have to do it the bedroom, so just take my word for it. Does that aftershave go on? So I go around and ask people, men in particular, uh, whether they were ever taught aftershave. It's interesting to see. I, I, I so far, it's been ninety-nine percent. I think it's the same everywhere else. Okay, so that's the end of this one. Uh, just on, just over five minutes. A uh, big thank you from me, Stan, Steve Fagan, for watching the big, sh the big, uh, the big shave on July the sixth, two thousand. It's this thing, by the way, not me. Uh, big shave on July the sixth, two thousand and eleven. We're gonna keep this going right till the end of the week. Sat down Sunday, I think. So um, stay tuned. Keep watching. Keep shaving. Keep following the instructions, and you'll end up with a looking younger. You won't necessarily lose any weight, but. Yeah, your skin will improve and you will look younger a little bit, okay?